Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a tag video and this is 10 fragrances that I will not stop recommending. So George for the Fragrance Apprentice, he tagged me. Massive thanks to George for the tag. I really do appreciate it. He did 25 fragrances that he wouldn't stop recommending. And I could have gone down that route, but you'd have probably been talking two, three videos. So I thought I'd condense it a bit, do 10 fragrances, um, and just did it in the one video. So these aren't in any order at all. Um, the first one is Pure Malt by Thierry Mugler. And this is a fruity whiskey scent. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I've been banging on about this since I first had my channel. And I don't think I'll ever stop going on about it. I really do enjoy it. On to the next one and I'm a big fan of this and I love the guy who's created it and it's George Zaharoff and this is Zaharoff Signature Pour On. Now he's just created two flankers which hopefully I'll be able to get hold of in the new year because um, I think they've just sold out but this is gorgeous. It's got a bit of a fougere feel to it but it's, there's so much more to it as well. I'd definitely recommend, if you haven't tried it, get your nose on it, and I think you'll fall in love with it just like I am. And the next one that I can't stop recommending and this one is from a house called Rosa Salas. Now, Rosa Salas are more well known for their interpretations, but this one is one of their own creations and it's called So 1980s. I actually did a review of this, which you can find if you have a look. Um, and I absolutely love this. It is just amazing there's an apricot note in this which is just heavenly it really is it's beautiful it's got woods in there it's got some citruses in there it's got leather amber and it's absolutely gorgeous i can't do nothing better Spending my day with you, my life's sunny and better. Oh, the next one, and this is one which has been in my winter list before. It's also made many other lists of mine, and it is from Dior and it's Dior Homme Parfum. So, this is Irish, it's got leather, it's got so many beautiful notes in it, and I adore it, it really is lovely. So that is the next one. The next one, and this is from Chanel. And it's a wonderful lemon creamy fragrance and it's a Luron edition blanche this is one of my favorite summer fragrances i absolutely love it now you've got Luron sporto extreme which i really enjoy but that's more of an all year round fragrance this to me is summer in a bottle and it's amazing We'll be like Bonnie and Clyde, how we everybody else, you and me against the world, girl. 
You'll be my B, I'll be your J, yeah We'll be so dangerous in love, girl Shawty, where you wanna go, go On to the next one and this is a new fragrance that's come about this year and it is Gravitas Pour Hom, which is a creation of Mr. Smelly, Norton and Wilson. So this is another fantastic fragrance. It's fougere-like, but it's been really well modernized. It's got a nice creamy dry down. Really do enjoy this one and I definitely recommend it. On to the next one, and I've been banging on about this for a while. It is getting quite a bit of hype in the community, and it's Moschino's Toy Boy. So you're talking pear, pepper, cloves, rose. It's different to any designer that's out there on the market and I think it's well worth adding to your collection. On to the next one and it wouldn't be a list of mine without a, a Galan being in there and it is Galan Lomi Dial Eau de Parfum. So this is a sweet cherry, almond and leather mixed together. It's wonderful. Really is nice. It's perfect for this time of year as well. In the skylights She got to look to good Oh boy, I need a something in my life Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go London, Paris, Tokyo On to the next one and it's from Tom Ford and it's Beau de Jour. This is proper barbershop material. It's got a wonderful lavender note in there and it's very fougere like. I really enjoy it. It's ideal for the freshest type of weather. I think this made my spring number one. So it's one that I absolutely adore. Oh, On to the last one, and I absolutely love this one. This is another one that's from what is normally known as a clone house, which is Pocket Sense. Um, but Pocket Sense have done a couple of their own creations as well, and one of those is Purple Gourmand. I absolutely love this. It's got a bit of a Baccarat Rouge 540 feel to it. Not the same smell, but I get that sort of feeling from it. So this is caramel, coffee, pear, vanilla, ambergris. It's got so many beautiful notes in there, but there's not many of them you can actually pick out. It's that well blended. It's absolutely gorgeous and I would highly recommend it and it had run out of stock which just shows how well it had been selling and he's recently got some more stock in so i would definitely pick yourself a bottle up of this if you haven't tried it already so i'm going to pass this tag on I'm going to tag uh, Mark from Aussie Fragrance. He's got a fantastic channel. If you haven't checked him out already, definitely check him out. I'd love to see what he would keep on recommending. Um, I also want to tag Patrick from Pinoy Kiwi Scent. Another brilliant channel. I need to catch up on some of his content. Um, he's really knocking out the content. Got some wonderful reviews. And lastly, uh, Mr. Fragrance. Um, I have mentioned this guy before, he used to be called Mr. Fragrance Fanatic, but then he found out that that name was already taken, so he's changed his name to Mr. Fragrance. He's got a fantastic channel, he's up and coming, and he's well worth a look. So let's 
get these people to do the tag. Let's force them to do the tag. You must do the tag. No, I'm only joking. Um, just do it if you can. Don't worry if you can't. And that's it from me. What 10 would you have chosen? Because it's very difficult to only fit 10 onto a list like this because there's so many that I enjoy. Um, I did struggle and I probably should have done the 25 instead of the 10. But thanks again for George for tagging me. It was much appreciated. So that's it from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll speak to you soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.